What's up? I'm Oliver Wouters. I am the operator of the Cardano staple Ideal. And in the last video, I showed you how to delegate some ADA to a staking pool with the help of the Daydalus wallet. Now in this video, we are going to do the same, but then not with the Daydalus wallet, but with the other popular wallet, which is Yoroi. So in order to delegate some ADA with the help of Yoroi, we of course need the Yoroi wallet itself. So open your browser and head over to yoroi-wallet.com. Now on this webpage, you will see that Yoroi is called a light wallet. And this means that this wallet, in comparison to Daydalus, doesn't have to in, uh, download and synchronize with the blockchain each time that you use it. So this wallet is always ready to go, is much faster, much more simple. And to be honest, I also think that the user experience is a bit more friendly in comparison to Daydalus. Now on this webpage, you will also see a big download button. And when we click on this button, it allows us to choose between a couple of different browsers. Now, in our case, we are using Google Chrome, so we'll click on Google Chrome. And this brings us to the Chrome Web Store. And in the top right corner, you will see a big blue button which says Add to Chrome. So we'll, we will click on this. Then click on Add Extension, which in Dutch is called Extensie Toevoegen. And then in the top right corner, it asks us to uh, synchronize our account with the wallet, which I don't want to do. Um, and then I will click on the puzzle icon in the top right corner and then I will click on the pin icon to uh, have Yoroi visible in the top right corner of my browser. So when we click on the Yoroi icon, you will see that it opens a new tab and it asks us to select our language. Now for this tutorial, I will of course use English. I will agree with the terms of use and I will click on continue. And then it asks us if we want to have a simple interface or a advanced interface. And of course, for this tutorial, we will choose a simple interface. Then uh, I want to skip all of this. I want to confirm this. And now the real magic happens. So for the purpose of this video, I will assume that most of you are holding ADA in an exchange like Coinbase or Binance. And therefore, we will have to create a new wallet here. So we will click on create wallet. Then we will choose Cardano, of course. Then we will click create wallet again. And now it asks us to give us a wallet name. And this wallet name is not that important. We can change it later on. So I will just give it the name tutorial. Then I will fill in a uh, spending password. And with that done, I can click on uh, create personal wallet. Now comes the most important part of creating a wallet. We will now get our wallet backup phrase, which is sometimes also called the seed phrase. And basically this is a set of 15 random words that will always grant access to our wallet. For example, if this computer breaks down and we need to recover the wallet in a location somewhere else. Now, because I don't want to lose access to these 15 random words, I made sure to bring a little piece of paper and I'm going to write all these words down on this piece of paper. So I'm going to check this checkbox, which tells me that I am the one responsible for keeping the words safe. And then I will click on continue. So this is the recovery phrase that I have. And as you can see, I wrote all of the words down right here. So I'm now going to click on yes, I've written it down. And now the interface asks me to check if I have the right order of words. So I'm going to check this right now. So it seems that I passed the test and I will now check both checkboxes and then I will click on confirm. We are now looking at the dashboard of the Yoroi wallet. And of course the wallet is quite empty right now and we'll need some ADA on this wallet in order to delegate some to a staking pool. Now to do this, head over to the receive tab and then you will see that there is an address listed right here. So if you use Binance or Coinbase, just copy paste this address in the uh, ADA uh, send field and then uh, all ADA sent to this address will appear in this wallet. After sending some ADA to this wallet, we can now head over to the delegation list. And this is basically a list of all the active pools that you can delegate your ADA to. So I'm going to search for my own pool, the ideal pool. And it pops up along with some information. But to be honest, this information here is kind of misleading. And I would recommend just clicking on the title of a pool because this brings us to adapools.org. And this is just a great website that gives us a lot of insight into the performance of a pool, the history of a pool and other statistics. So as you can see right here, I have a couple of delegators. I have a high pledge and quite a low margin. 
and this makes it quite attractive to delegate with me. And now if we look at the performance and history of the pool, we can see that it is quite promising for such a new pool, if I say so myself, of course. So I'm going to close this page. And then basically, if you have decided on which pool you want to delegate your ADA, uh, then just hit uh, the green delegate button, select your wallet, select the amount of ADA that you want to delegate, and then hit confirm. And that basically wraps up our video tutorial. You are now delegating your ADA to a staking pool. If this video was helpful and you want to see more of these video tutorials or content about Cardano, then please consider leaving a comment down below, liking the video or subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.